Now this is yummy. We got some syrup over here. And time for some yummy goodness. Hi Leos! Welcome to my channel! We're doing your weekend reading! It's a new change again! <laughs> okay, so um, since it's a Libra time, I want to balance situations out. So I want to see how you're feeling. And then in the excited reading, I want to see how they're feeling towards you. Okay, and then do your assessment over there. Okay, so this is going to be for the Leo Sun, Moon, and Rising. This is for the 29th to the October 1st. Okay. So let me see how are my Leos uh, watching, I mean, you know, feeling, okay? So vice versa decks, I will show you guys. That's why I can't open my eyes because I can see the cards. Okay, okay. not yet. I haven't started there. All right, now we start. How is the Leos feeling? Show me. I have to look up. All okay. right. This is how you're feeling. Ooh, you feel that, this is the Queen of Wands not facing, guys. Okay, if this is, I mean, you as a fire sign, you can be connected with another fire sign. You're feeling, okay, that, well, in a sense, it's like, I have said, like, the search is over, Leos. Because you're facing, you know, like, you're not looking at any offers anymore. This is how you're feeling. Because you're, fa you're, you're back faced now. Yeah. Like, if there's someone comes towards you, you're not the queen who accepts your face back. So you feel that this is the person. I'm looking directly at the person that, you know, like that I, I want to be with, you know, this is how you're feeling. Let me see. Hmm. Wow. Talk about both. You have, you can be connected with an air sign also. This is the king of swords. And I think here, your thoughts are very, very stable. This is how you feel. Your heart is stable. Your passion is stable. Your thoughts are stable. This is how you feel, guys. It's like you don't even need to communicate. And it's showing here how much grounded this connection is. Um, how strong this connection is. This is how you feel because you see here behind this king, all this, um, it's almost like you feel like this is just the tip of the iceberg, meaning there's something big. That's what I'm sensing here. And that's what the king of sword is thinking. I mean, that's how you're feeling. Like there's something big in this connection. Can be an air sign is how you're feeling. Let me see. There's four cards in this read, guys. Let me see here. Mm. Wow, talk about, this is the Wheel of Fortune, guys, okay? So you're facing it, okay, I'm getting that one. So this is the Wheel of Fortune in, in the front side. And this is when you feel that you finally made it happen. Or you finally, yeah, this is, you know, finally meeting the one, the destiny, the fated one. I don't call it um, destiny, I call it fated. So you feel that this is fated and you're allowing it. You're not even putting more action or energy into it. Um, you know, because you see here, this is, a magi this is the, um, you know, the Wheel of Fortune in the regular stage. Here, you feel that this person is doing even something for you. They're doing something here because this is the magician and they're addressing life. You feel that this person manifested you in their presence. It's like someone, you feel that some, some energy brought this person in your life. Okay. So you understand me, Leo? Like, yes, it can be a soulmate, yes, because it's a fixed energy. You can be de dealing with a fixed sign, Aquarian, Taurus, Scorpio, or, yeah, or Leo, I mean, you, okay? So you feel that this is a fix. Like, for some reason, you feel that, hmm, I don't know why this is happening, why I met this person, but I feel that there is, you know, there is future over here. I feel that this is the one. I feel that I met my match. And you feel that it's manifesting. Or that they did this. You feel that this person is the one who did all this. Like you're the one who manifested me here. I was just quiet and you know doing my own thing, being a Leo, and you came into my life. That's how you feel. That's why you feel like it's manifesting that someone brought this person. Let me see here. Because I can't see. Okay. 
Wow! I didn't look, guys. The sun card. You <laughs> see? You feel so happy, Leo. You feel that there is a good direction wherever this is going. My eyes was even closed. You feel um, that this person brings joy and an enlightenment towards you. You feel if you have any questions, this is the yes. Um, you know, you coming out here, as, you know, you are the, you know, you're the sun card. Um, you feel that you are in place. You feel that this person can be a future partner. This is how you feel. And you feel that it's manifesting the way it's supposed to. Maybe slow, you know. But for you, it's like it's not even about taking more action because you see the bright, and by the end of the day, this person inspires you, this person heals you, this person brings you joy. They give you something that made you you again. That's why I said here, Queen of Wands also, right? It can be another fire sign that you're connecting with, all right? Or someone who's Jupiter ruled, Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarian, Pisces also. All right, so Leos, I'm going to continue this reading and how they feel. All right, have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.